Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I have come back with another new video and uh, if you have not seen my earlier videos, please go and check out my earlier videos regarding how to go abroad, Canada, New Zealand and I also make videos on dentistry and dental related products like autoclave, some endomotor. So all these things are viewed in my channel. So today's topic will be something different. I want to tell you about like the inferior alveolar nerve block. Right, it's the most important block which we give while extraction of molars, third molars, while doing RCT of the lower molars and this is the first thing your oral surgeons will tell to learn and teach so I thought why not to make a video on this because many, many a times what happens is the LA doesn't work properly and the proper technique is not known sometimes your mind is also blind ki kaha injection there, where to give the injection so today I'm gonna talk about it like how to give the inferior alveolar nerve block that's it period so what are the nerves which are anesthetized so you all know this is a branch of the mandibular nerve the lingual nerve is anesthetized then the mental and the inferior alveolar nerve itself gets anesthetized so why do we need to anesthetize this nerve what are the areas size during this block are the unilateral lower lip one side then the alveolar mucosa which is there in the floor of the mouth half of the alveolar mucosa is involved till the molars then the anterior two third of the tongue half of it and the mucosa which is present till the first molar after that you have to give the long buccal nerve ears which are anesthetized so the most important question arises now ki whether the lingual soft tissues and periosteum is also yes the lingual soft tissues and periosteum is also anesthetized in this block so if you are doing any kind of periodontal procedures also so this nerve block is apt right I am not talking about the premolars, we are only talking about the molars and third molars, premolars ke liye aap mental nerve block bhi de sakte hain. Then comes about the, what is the needle which we use, we are all using a 25 gauge needle to give this block. So in this block, like how we have to do it actually. See first of all you have to wear your gloves and then you have to palpate the coronoid notch. It is the depression point in the anterior border of the ramus. So I will show you in the mandible itself, I have got 3 to 4 mandibles and uh, actually I have got many but I will show you the 3 to 4 areas where you have to actually palpate. So this is the mandible I am having, I am having meant to. So I have cut the mandible in half so it will be easy for you to understand. So this is the mandible and uh, this is the lingual side of the mandible, under ka part and this is the outside. Facial surface means this part. Bar se agar ab dekh rahe hain. Then you see where is the lingula from where the inferior alveolar nerve uh, enters from here, and then it crosses here and comes out to the mental foramen. So if I want to remove this tooth, I have to give the inferior alveolar nerve block, right? So how, what is the point of insertion of the needle? So there are two lines. One is the horizontal line and the vertical line. So these points represent the anterior border of the deepest point of the coronary under part of the ramus this is known as the coronary notch from you have to palpate this and from there you have to go posteriorly till the pterygomandibular raphe so pterygomandibular raphe is the muscle which is going upwards so three fourth from the pterygomandibular raphe this is the point of injection where you have to give the area of insertion the area where the needle will go and deposit the local anesthesia right so at this point you have to give the injection so what are the things you have to keep in mind coronary notch, pterygomandibular raphe and occlusal plane of the mandibular posterior see, see I have made a small line here so this is the occlusal plane of the mandibular molar and it's coinciding with the lingula right so this occlusal plane is going here and it's coinciding with the lingula right so this is the point so this, this point you have to palpate and from there you have to go posteriorly till the pterygomandibular raphe so pterygomandibular raphe will be somewhere here when which this muscle goes upward so three fourths from it you have to give the injection right now i have few more mandibles to show so this is the mandible of an old person so see in all the mandibles the location of the lingula is at the level of the occlusal plane so i will have a more close you can have a more closer look at it see the molar is there so you have to draw a line from the upper molar and then it reaches here where you have to deposit the injection see 
the most important thing while giving the inferior alveolar nerve block is you have to hit the bone right but you should not inject inside the bone because otherwise the periosteum the pain will patient will have pain so you have to retract the needle 1 mm and then you have to deposit your local anesthesia injection so there are two points so point 1 lies from the coronal notch to the deepest part of the trigeminal raphe which i already told and uh, point 2 is 3 4 from the tegomandibular raphe so this is the point where you need to locate and you need to give the local anesthesia so the most important part of giving a mandibular nerve block is the bone should be contacted right which is very important and do not inject if you don't hit the bone right sometimes what happens is the needle can go so i have a needle with me i will show you so sometimes what happens you have to inject it here and sometimes what happens the needle will go to posteriorly where the parotid gland lies and inside the parotid gland there is a facial nerve which is a seventh cranial nerve and which can cause transient paralysis of the face if you deposit the injection more posteriorly so what will happen if you give it more anteriorly if you give it more anteriorly the local anesthesia will not happen so this is a problem so there are two problems while giving the uh, injection you must have noticed either you hit the bone too early so at least for giving the proper local anesthesia the amount of needle 20 to 25 mm of the needle should be inside and at that point you should contact the bone not too early so if it is too early that means you are hitting it here some somewhere around here this point so that doesn't mean you are hitting the bone so you have to hit it in the proper place right this is the place where you have to hit the bone and then you have to retract it little bit and then you have to inject very slowly at the rate of 1.5 ml for 60 seconds you have to inject it very slowly and while retracting also you have to slightly inject 0.1 ml to anesthetize the lingual nerve okay so if bone is not contacted what you will do so suppose i am injecting here somewhere blindly and the bone is not contacted so once you put the needle inside around 20 to 25 millimeters then what you do is slightly you retract the needle and with the same angulation you change the direction of the needle from the like this okay then again insert so if you hit the bone you will definitely hit the bone at that time so you can just retract it one millimeter so that you do not give the injection in the periosteum and then deposit the local anesthesia in this point where the inferior alveolar nerve lies right so if it is too posterior anteriorly if you hit it here then again you retract the needle turn it like this and then go deep inside so this is the technique of like i cannot exactly show you through this video how to i don't have the soft tissues over the bone but i just can show you some mandibles where uh, you can see the location here see this is the mandible this is the at the level of the occlusal plane so in the older individuals what happens is this lingula will go more posteriorly because of the resorption of the bone and uh, at that time you have to keep in mind the injection should be at the level of the occlusal plane of the second molar right and three fourths from the pterygomandibular raphe which is very important so what are the complications of giving this uh, local anesthesia suppose the patient may get trismus and as i already told you the patient may get some kind of paralysis so i was getting requests for this video since a long time and um, that's why i made this video it's difficult to explain over the phone and you have to try it on the patient after reading nicely from the handbook of local anesthesia the book is there so you read it from there nicely and there is a step by step and very beautiful uh, diagrammatic representation is given in that book and it's given in it's all it's there in all the libraries of dental college and oral surgery department it will be there so i hope you got some information regarding this uh, topic Do not follow me on instagram please do follow me on instagram inside dental vlogs and thank you for showing so much support and love till then take care goodbye have a nice day anu chocolate ko dekha uchu a kurkure khau cho kali 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 mukna dant to ban gaya bas se beti phool na thale to ghar mein nikal lo dant nahi yahan nikaloge घर में कल तो मम्मी